Hey guys, Ran here, and time we bring you a replay in the Garnet KV5. I'm going to be on Sunset Coast, I'm going to be platooned with Curtis again, also in the Garnet, because Garnet's platoons are fun. Um, now obviously we're going to be top tier, because we're in preferential tanks. Um, the map's not the best, and there are two artillery. And to Zombie Raptor what, this is the game I was talking about. Um, so it wasn't the last KV5 game, it's this one. Where I do something really stupid and get away with it just because I'm in a KB5. Now, while I get to possessors, we'll talk a little bit about tomorrow's video is going to be the T22 medium. And I was talking about how I'm going to do it, and I have decided I am going to do a first impressions video. So it's going to be three live battles, I'm going to equip the vehicle live with its crew and its equipment, and then I'll go through and play it. Um... And I've not played the T22 yet, I got it on Wednesday, I've not played a single game in it because I've been waiting for the first impressions video, so I can just, you guys can experience it with me, and by doing it live, my disappointment or my joy will be self-evident. But something else to remember with first impressions videos, and I'll say this again when I do the video, I can have three amazing games, it doesn't mean the tank's good, and I can have three terrible games, doesn't mean the tank's bad, it's the nature of a first impressions. And then later, through the weeks, I get more replays, I can give you my full opinion on it. Um, but I'm just so excited to bring us that tomorrow, and I can't wait. Really looking forward to playing it. So we got to like where I'll, I call this the heavy corner. A lot of tanks to brawl out around here, um, showing up, standing around loaded, and there's a lot of stuff I can't put my stand around around here. But there is an ISM, and that is something who even his lower plate I cannot put my stand around. So if I'm gonna go fight the ISM, I'm gonna need premium. But at the moment I've got the standard loaded. There's like you know Draugen and the light tank, some other things. Now, look in front of us, and I want you to keep an eye on the map, it's quite important for what I do later. They have so many tanks to the left, and they have so many tanks to the right. So pushing down there to ram something would be very stupid. But I really want to, because I'm in a KV-5 them. <laughs> so what I'm doing right now is, I'm actually saying to Kurt, I'm saying, Oh, ramming people would be really stupid right now, so I don't want to do it. But I really want to, as that light tank just right past me. So basically what I'm trying to do is, I'm trying to get Curtis to tell me not to do it. Because I know I tend not to listen to myself. Um, just getting some shots in. Struggling a little bit with gun depression. I try to hit the upper plate of the uh, Black Prince, but I hit his turret. And I'm looking at how many hit points things have down there. <laughs> and I'm deciding, you know what? KV-5 time. Going in. Now the ISM is the hardest one to pan, so I'm going to take health off him first. Finished off the TD, hit the ISM for about 370, and start backing up. Now the Black Prince is going for me. I'm trying to cut him off, he's getting shot into me, I'm getting shot from the front, I'm going to get shot from the left, I'm getting shot from everywhere. But, this is a big but, I'm still alive with over 600 hit points after doing something stupid, and that's just the power of the KV-5. I have a feeling, if I was in any other tier 8 tank, I'd have probably died doing that, but the large health pool with the armor, but mainly the health pool more than anything else, got me out of that one. Now I actually like Pip Noovered or Yag Panther too, because he's driving like a maniac. I mean, I respect him for playing so aggressive in a turtless TD, because that's how you should play that tank, quite aggressive in my opinion, so I actually respect him for doing it, but I kind of wasn't expecting it, so I didn't accidentally uh, push into him, which is my bad. Now I was thinking of loading back to standard rounds, but I'm going to have a look at these enemies over here, and one of them is a defender. So. You know, I can't pen his lower plate with standard rounds. I wouldn't mind it if Wargaming gave us the buff that they did on PC of giving this thing 186 standard pen, because that's starting to get to the point where you can pen the lower plate of a lot of vehicles. There's still some you can't, but... At least that means the weak points of a lot of vehicles I'd actually be able to pen fairly reliably. Get one shot into the Defender, put one into the IS. Go back for a Defender, gonna try and stay on the move to hit him. Defender does pan me them. However, I know I've got the rate of fire advantage on a Defender. Kill the Defender. Try to get over to the IS, but uh, it's going to be over for him. Our team is there first, so now that I don't need to shoot at anyone, I'm going to load back to a standard round. And as I load back to standard round, there's actually going to be an Oho round this corner, but the Oho is going to be sideways on the me. And the thing to remember is, I'm on 155 hit points. If he's got the derp gun, he can actually be a threat to me. And if he's got the 105 mil gun, well, I could actually bounce it. 
So I need to be a little bit careful here because as I said, with the derp gun, he can just hit me anywhere and I might die. Jumping over, oh, sideways on. I can tell by the shape of his gun, it's the 105 mil. Stay in the move. Keep stopping intermittently. And I do bounce a shot. Now he's going to be facing me directly now, so what I'm going to do is I'm just not going to bother really. Uh, Dragon's also around this corner, so for, to deal with him, I need to drive round. Well, I actually thought he was going to come up top, but he is going to stop. And now with our team dealing with the O hole on the map, I'm going to go around and try and uh, get the Dragon instead. Much easier target the Pam. Go around. I'm going to fuck up the first shot because mainly because I'm struggling to get gun depression. Uh, but again, the DPM of the KV-5 means yeah, I'm going to be able to reload in time to pick up the kill. And, uh, yeah, KV-5 game. Three kills or four kills or something. I can't remember. 3,700 damage. I survived the game despite doing something stupid, and I came top at XP. Also, without a silver boost, I made 128,000 credits profit because the KV-5 is really good at making money. And a relatively poor steel wall, only 1,500 damage blocked, but a steel wall nonetheless. So this was a nice tanker. And one of my favorite tanks. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one.